Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we made it here to Cooper Brothers Fortress, and now we're heading in to take on the Cooper Brothers. Whoa, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already, I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa! Well, that guy just did the whole Scooby-Doo runway thing. And nothing over here. I always forget that there's nothing over there. Oh well. Um, yeah, this... Cooper Brothers Fortress is probably gonna take total of an episode and a half. Two episodes, two episodes, I'll say. It's a really interesting place and eh, I wouldn't say one of my favorite areas of the game, but definitely a cool place to be. Alright. Throw my show at him. Oh crap, I failed the timing right there. Uh let's change party members to Gumbario and show off this new enemy. If you didn't know already, this is a Bob-omb. bob -omb. are pretty temperamental, and they get stupid mad when you attack them. HP 3, attack part 1, defense cards are you better not jump on them when they're angry or they'll blow up your new face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers, or you can send them into other things like shells. If they attack when they're angry, they'll charge and explode, so you better take care of them before they blow. Yeah, I'm not going to be that kind. Instead, I'm going to attack. Boom. And he'll get mad. And since there's no one else in the uh, battle, this will end the battle. It'll hurt him. And by the way, your partners can get hurt. But instead of actually taking damage, what they'll do is they'll be knocked out of the match for a few turns. Like, one damage will be knocked out for one turn, yada, yada, yada. I do not need... I don't think I need Gumbario for a little bit, so instead I'm going to be using Cooper. There we go. Get him on the way back. Alright. Let's just end this uh, fight quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to end the fight quickly. There were a few strategies to deal with bubble bombs, and honestly, you need to think what's best for you. I'm going to do nothing this turn. They failed the timing. And you get that timing down. And I'm just gonna, instead of wasting FP to end it the first turn, I'm just going to uh, attack like this. Use strategy, whatnot, to conserve my FP, because I don't think we get any uh, healing for a little while under this. Yeah, I remember when we. Oh, crap. You know what? Decided to cut out that fight because honestly. Same fight as before. No more tips needed. You can either hurt them all to get them ready to blow up and then blow them all up at once or whatever. Oh? <laughs> Let's see the great Mario get any further now. Uh, yike, Mario! You uh, don't try any. You're still never finding your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like this might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Yeah, we have to fight. Or we don't have to? But I'm going to. <laughs> Once again, decided to cut out since, once again, nothing interesting happened here. Now, here's a bit of a weird one here. Now that that fight's over, because, you know, I didn't want to get into that fight midway. I don't even know what I'm on about. So, as you can see over here, cracks, but we can't do anything with this. So, there's actually a way to get past these cracks without actually doing what you need to. You can just kind of glitch through there. I found that as a kid. Did not realize that's a glitch. Or, well, not really a glitch, but more of... I guess that's the way the Koomba, the Koomba, the uh, Koopa gets through there, but I'm pretty sure they meant to, for you to, I'm not going to spoil, do something with that crack. So, yeah, I can't really say what we're going to do with that, because spoilers. So as we move on, we gotta head over here, and a, yeah, there was a Koopa and three bo -bombs in there, and that kind of hurt, like, a lot. Yeah, I don't need to do anything up here, that's not where I need to go, but instead, I can head over here. 
Ah, uh, crap. I need to... I don't have the help to do these next rooms. Alright, I need to make an executive executive decision. Should I heal, go outside and heal up? Or try to trek on? Uh, I'll just use a mushroom. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll live. Oh well. Now, I can either head right... No, it's left. Because if I had right, that's spoilers. And this is why I need more health. This is what we call a gauntlet. Gauntlets are not friendly and they're not fun. Because it's just enemy after enemy after enemy. And since this is required, you have to fight this guy. I figure I'm going to show this. It's worth it. Even though you were quite to fire... Or quite... To, I don't know what I'm saying. You were required to fight the fight with the bubble bombs back there. Honestly, I didn't want to show that since it was long and tedious. And you know you're going to have to figure out how to do that yourself. Also, I'm getting the timing down on these attacks a bit better, which is nice. Because honestly, I don't want to die. So, I'm going to show this first fight, and I might show a few, one of the two others. I don't really know. But, oh well. At least we can get through here. Just deal that one damage. I don't care. <laughs> these guys fell. No reward. Oh, come on. Yeah, that fight was just two paratroopers. Not worth showing. And guy number three is down. So, the rooms do this weird thing where they fall back down. Which makes you question all physics. But whatever! It's fine. You just have to head all the way left over here. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about these fire bars being here. Oh, well. We're fine. If you hit those, then they turn backwards and you just get hurt by for one damage. Which I'd rather not do since I don't like taking damage. But oh well. Go ahead. No, not there. Up here. Silly Gabe. You know where to go. You are the color blue. You know everything. By everything, I mean practically nothing. But whatever. This doesn't seem suspicious. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Oh, well, looks like Mario's here. I wonder what that is. You know? I just meant before I head up there. If I head out here, there's a save block. I'm not going to use that right now. Instead, I'm heading for Grex not use that, since I have nothing to do with those cracks. Cracks are not my friend. But you know what are my friend? Muffin buttons. And that's probably what this switch is. I'm just saying it's probably a muffin button. I'm hitting it! Where's my muffin? That's not a muffin! Ah! That sucks. Also... Bah! Loser serves you right, you fell for it! You fell for it, I see what they did there. No, but I just saw a sock come flying in from under my door. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what chance fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Uh, who, me? Ah, uh, my name's Bumbat. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm up a bomb. Pleased to meet you. So, over here is our healing block damage. This is probably the... No, th there's one other inside this entire fortress. Turns out I didn't need to use a mushroom for those fights because I'm getting better. What's that? Why am I locked up in here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa brothers. I was just one of many babams working here. But those Koopa brothers, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take any more, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa brothers didn't like us. They locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the babams because they couldn't, because they thought they might rise up. You know, a babam rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Wait, babam rebellion. I feel like. S Never mind. But anyway, Mari, we want to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. I can't say no. I can't say no to that face. Oh, how nice, heart. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make it super team, Mario. 
That's right. Bombette has joined your party. Press down, press blah to make blah. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks or inactivate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability or damage enemies to the ground with her bomb attack. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. Sure. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See if there are any cracks in the wall. I could probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, puff, puff. Tea cover. Yeah. Boom. And we're out. She didn't really think about that. <laughs> see that? You see why I bring it to the party, Mario? Huh? Oh, an escape route! Well, I, I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> and uh, that was a little bit silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you, heart. Now, enough chit-chat. I'll have a little so a score to settle with those Koopa brothers. I feel like I need to do better voices. So I'm going to bring my voices to the max. See what I can do. Oh. Uh, what's all that noise? In case you bought bombs for Galax, one is prohibited inside the fortress except in case of emergencies. What in the- Mario, you're- what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody, get him! Yeah, so... Basic summary of what's happening now. These guys suck. But that's awesome. She's gotta hold down and do that like, two damage, and she's useful. But... Her main specialty isn't an attack in normal. Her main specialty is exploding, which I will show off in just a moment. Because there's a healing item, there's a healing block right inside, I can waste as much FP as I want to. Boom! Three damage. That's really nice, and she upgrades nicely throughout the game, because there are ways to upgrade your party, which I don't know if I've mentioned or not, but I'm sure I must have read something, right? Yeah, I think I did in like the first episode. There we go. And she blows up mid-air, just to give us a little bit of firework. <laughs> yeah, she would have been knocked out right there for two turns or three turns, if I'm remembering right. But thanks to the fact that, well, the gate, the uh, fight was ending, it didn't matter. Like, at all. <laughs> now we're gonna heal up our Effie. And head out of here. So with this game, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for all the collectibles and secrets in the game. For a lot of the secrets, they're all like, uh, go to a certain place at a certain time, or do this or do that. They're all kind of cool things like that. But, I don't know. I, f I like showing off 100% of everything. Uh, that's something that I really like doing, and I still need to do that for a few OPs that I uh, have already finished. Because there are some things I need to do post-game stuff, like my uh, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff. Refund badge. What this does is I'm going to equip this. Not to get distracted from my topic, but hey, I want to equip this. Uh, this will give coins for any items used in battle. So if I use like a Fire Flower, it'll give like 50% uh, of whatever it costs at a shop. So it's a good item. In addition to that, Power Bounce. I got this and I forgot to put it on. What it does is, if you keep doing your action command correctly, then you can keep jumping. Uh, potentially, infinitely. <laughs> Indefinitely. You can just keep jumping forever. And honestly, that's fantastic. You can actually beat uh, the final boss in one turn like that, if you're good enough. Well, in roughly one turn? I don't know. If I remember right, it's one turn, though. I don't really remember 100% correct. Ow. Sorry about the little interruption. I kind of got attacked. But, um, what was this saying? Oh, yeah. I still need to go back for a few, uh, choice, uh, games and do all the 100%ing there. Especially the post game, uh, the post game of, uh, Pokemon. That's something I really want to do. It's going to be a lot of fun to get back into that with Justin. But games like this, I need to know what I need to do with this. Uh, should I, like, do every single item? Do you think there's some items that are just unnecessary? Do you think that I should show off every little cutscene and everything, or should I just 
not do every little side thing. What do you guys want? Because honestly, I love doing the extra things, but I also like making you guys happy, so I need to have this little input here. In addition to that, what kind of games would you like to see me do in the future? Because I'm kind of wondering what I should be doing at this time. Because I do plan on starting up another smaller Let's Play during this uh, Let's Play, probably within the next week or so. I'm going to be starting up something short. I'm still deciding between like three games, but I'll be having some cool stuff with that. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet because, well, I haven't decided. I'm kind of very indecisive. <laughs> but besides just that, now we're in puzzle time. Very simple yawny puzzle. Why am I yawning all the time now? It's just constant yawn, yawn, yawn with me like in the past two days. Every time I try to talk to someone, I just start yawning over and over again. It's so weird, because I don't really feel tired. Like, maybe I'm just not getting enough sleep or something? I don't know. What I do know is that I need to figure that out. I really enjoy Let's Playing, I really enjoy doing all these videos, and I really want to know what you guys want to see from me in the future, because... I really want to do things that you guys like doing. Also, totally unrelated to what I was just talking about, but kind of related to my Let's Playing stuff. I was looking at my channel earlier. My most popular series is Sonic and the Black Knight. My, uh, some of my most popular videos are all Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic and the Black Knight. I'm just like, why Sonic and the Black Knight? I, I've heard mixed results from that game. I did enjoy the game myself. Wait. Um, <laughs> the texture's glitched. <laughs> I, um, kind of curious. Can I blow that? Nope. Texture's glitched. <laughs> That's really cool. But, um, why Sonic and the Black Knight? Why is that my most popular series? What? It could have been anything, but that. I'm just curious. Like, did you guys really enjoy that or something? Or do you guys want more Sonic in the future? I do plan on doing a bunch of Sonic games. I'm not sure which my next Sonic game is going to be, it might be Sonic Adventure uh, DX, or I'm thinking maybe Sonic 06, because honestly I did like Sonic 06. I know it's not popular opinion to like Sonic 06, but it was fun for me. <laughs> it was a lot of fun for me to get into and start playing, even though I had some issues with games such as the silver battle and how cheap and... At random times you will fall through the ground, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a finished game. I look at the game and I cannot believe they fully finished everything. The cutscenes look nice, but the actual, some of the areas of the game just kind of look like they were rushed. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that at all, but I shouldn't be talking about that. I can talk about that when I'm actually playing Sonic. For now, I'm playing Paper Mario, which... Up until, uh... Up until this playthrough, I hadn't noticed half the glitches that happened, like when I just bombed that wall there and the texture was still floating there for some reason, like half visible. It's kind of weird. Oh, there was an enemy there I could see. And there's a single Koopa. This is going to be a simple battle. <laughs> Stretch! And hit. Ah, my neck. Sorry about not talking to that. I am keeping that in just so you can see me beat the crap out of that single Koopa. I was just kind of stretching, trying to get rid of the kink in my neck, yada yada. Um, talking about more about Paper Mario, because I was trying to talk more about it. Excuse me? Apparently I'm just not allowed to speak. Okay, fine. this guy. Now, talking more about Paper Mario. I'm going to be doing quite a bit with this game, and honestly, I just plan on finishing most things in this game. I don't know what you guys want to see. Like, there's a uh, arcade of sorts in this game. I want to know if you guys want to see those kind of games, if you want to see me do them all. In addition to all those games, uh, what you want to see me doing in all this stuff. What do you guys want to see me, like, what don't you want to see in particular? Like, I know some things are tedious, or some things have been shown a million times, so you don't think they're necessary. In addition to all that, like, just general gameplay, do you just not want to see battles, period? 
well not battles period because I'm going to be showing at least new enemies but what do you guys want to see what do you guys want me to cut what do you guys want me to keep yada yada <laughs> well, well well Mario I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far <laughs> don't get smug pal you just caught us off guard trust me we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious we're as cool as they come <laughs> yeah boys open fire okay so I would go down there and fight them, but instead I want to head over here and get the items first. Maple syrup heals 10 FP, which we don't even have 10 at this point, so it's not useful to us, but it's a very useful item for you to know about. It's also useful for later because, well, you're going to need them. So these guys. Ah, crap. I'm just going to kill them all in one hit because I didn't realize that it sent out three. These guys are annoying in these cold bullet bills. What they are going to be doing to you is just totally massacring you right here. Now, uh, Mario, jump on this guy's head. Nope, failed. Okay, let's check out with Goon Mario what the bullet bills stats are. This is Bullet Bill, Kamikaze Attacker. If you don't beat bullet bills quickly, they'll slam to you and explode. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. I'm serious, Mario. These guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. We'll have to beat them before they can get the chance to strike us. Okay. So, as you can tell, since I just did that, I've wasted my ability to finish one of them off. So, instead, I'm just going to attack a random one and just kill it. The other two will deal 2 damage each. Nope, I failed that. There we go. Two more. One less damage. So, three damage total. Ah, crap. Yeah, well, that's what happens if you let them get the first strike on you. That sucks, right? Uh, these guys are just annoying enemies. I'm going to be showing all these battles as we run across. They're just going to keep firing them out of their cannons right into our faces because they're kind of jerks. And, yeah. Jump over it. Ah, crap. Really? This sucks. These enemies are just annoying and just bad and stupid and bad and stupid. But all the same, I need to show these battles off because, you know, these are what I consider to be required battles. I know it's kind of a weird thing to consider required, but hey. Now, head down here and you get a heal block. Now, you have a few options here. You can grind off all these enemies and get a bunch of star points. Or you can just not do that at all, and you can either run straight in them, or you can be smart about it, and attack with Bombay. First strike. And you manage to insta-kill one of them, which is fantastic, because honestly with these guys you just want to insta-kill them. Alright, that's how this works. I forgot in this game the jump thing is a little bit different than I'm used to. And they have one defense, which I should mention. Now, for this fight, I'm going to have to uh, keep fighting them off Mario and switch over to Goombaria, since Goombaria is our tattler. Alright. Tattle. This is a Bill ba Blaster. Bill Blasters are the kins that shoot up both Bills. Max HP 4, attack power 0, defense power 1. They won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out the bolt pills as long as they can. It's efficient to attack them all at once, but you can also beat them one at a time. So as you've noticed, we didn't really need to do that since I was smart about it and the bot before the battle even started. Killed one instantly. Now, hmm, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to swap out Kumbario for... Cooper, since he, he deserves more screen time. I'm going to attack my power jump. Oh, and I did three damage, so it doesn't matter who I have. So he's just there for the end of this battle. <laughs> because why not? Level up! So, uh, this battle is going to be hard, but... Mm, oh, what should I do, guys? I'm going to do FP. I know I said I'd be doing pure BP, but honestly, I need more FP for this next battle because I just want to spam. Like I said, that's why FP is just 
And all the two brothers are just gone now. Also, we've already healed. So, bomb that out. No, wait, actually, I'm not going to tattle these enemies. Honestly, it's just not a good idea to do. Actually, I want to get the tattle out. I can't resist on this first enemy we fight in here. Because, yes, there are a few enemies we fight in here. This is the boss chamber. The Koopa Brothers castle boss? I don't know what to call it. You guys are ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg. Ow, my shell fell off. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Alright, cool. <laughs> I would say this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, I've been waiting for you, Mario, but higher, higher. The strongest and the coolest, more the core that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for him to beat those foolish ideas out of you. Saving Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Yeah, um, let's tattle Bowser. Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagine looking, well, what scarier. Yeah, he's... he's lost a lot of, uh... things. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about him. I guess... Gah, I'm invincible! You were powerless before me! Uh, says you... I'm just gonna use my Thunderbolt badge. I figure it's a good time to use this. Refund, get a bunch of coins back. Yeah. I figure it's just a good idea to do that. Um, I can attack with Co with Gumbario, so I'm gonna use Cooper. Mm? Bombette. Bombette. Because, you know, I can. And I failed to damage dodge. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me? Uh, dude, you're over half dead. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Let's just use Bomb. Alright. Four damage. Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! I wanted to show off all the dialogue there, but honestly, I just don't want to make this battle last that long. It's not really worth my time, and I'm already like 30 minutes into this video, I just realized that. Wow. I did the entire Koopa Brothers Fortress in one video? Here comes the Koopa Brothers! Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. The Cooper Brothers Special Super Spinning Attack. And they do four damage. They combine their attack into one. That's kind of devastating. But we have Bombette on our side. This is why I upgraded my FP now. Because it knocks them all down. And it was honestly fantastic in every way. And nothing can keep me down. Alright, um, I think I'm just gonna take out red right now. This is the power jump, by the way, if you had notes. The power bounce, sorry. I should never call it anything that isn't true. So, ah, dang it, I was hoping that take out green. So, let's just take out green. Okay, good. I was making sure that would actually work. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just attacked with combat because she still deals more damage. Oh well. Now they jump on each other's back. And they deal two damage. Not threatening at this point, right? Only two damage. Same as a spiked Goomba. Alright. Uh, let's just use our hammer. And they're about to tip over. Whoa, we're going over! And one little tap will knock them over. Nice. <laughs> yeah, these guys... I should mention one thing about the first time I tried Let's Play in this game. I got a copyright strike, and I didn't really know what it was for until I actually checked what scene it was. You know what they did? 
They trade claiming that these were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This scene right here was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Obviously true! Obviously! <laughs> these are obviously the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nothing is different about them at all. And yes, I know they are inspired by them, and that makes sense and all, but that doesn't mean that it should be even possible for me to get a copyright strike for this, of all things. <laughs> it's stupid. It's, it's all kinds of bogus. And with that, 32 SP. Fantastic. Whoa! And they fall down. Hello? Somebody let us out of here! Yeah, they're totally stuck down there. And so, we finally freed the star spirit. Um, what happens if we just leave? We can totally just leave right now. <laughs> Guys, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, <laughs> we're gonna get the Star Spirit. Because that activates a little bit of a cutscene that I want to do next time. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So long, farewell, I'll see you all tomorrow.